I'm your host, James Jordan. And again this week, I'm joined by Emmy from Hello. Hello, Emmy. Hello there. Emmy, the last few weeks we've been noticing we're getting lots of comments from everyone. So thank you so much for your support, everyone. Thank you. We love we love reading your comments. It's been, it's, it's been, re- it's been, it's been so fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed the show last week. I thought I thought everyone did a really, really good job, but I didn't personally feel that Craig this week needed to get his 10 out. So I'm really happy that he didn't. And it would have disappointed me if he had got his 10 out this week when none of the performances were quite as good as they were last week. I thought this week, to be honest with you, everyone had a bit of black ball fatigue in a term that I've just coined. I just saw everyone just felt like a little deflated. Like that, that was the big thing that everyone was excited about. This is the week after. I don't think it was amazing as it could have been, maybe. I mean, I thought I still thought it was a good show. I liked a lot of the dances, but that yeah. is a very good point. You've got to think about the traveling up, the traveling down. You know, they go to a party afterwards, like we always used to. Probably lost a day's training this week because of the traveling. I felt a couple of the performances were just missing something. Yeah. You know, something you don't always put your finger on. But there's exactly. something missing. Maybe that's what it was. I, I hope next week they come out and, and smash it even more. Yeah, from your experience, does it feel like the week after Blackpool, it's a bit like, oh, right, okay, let's crack. I mean, there is. There's there's so much excitement about Blackpool and getting to Blackpool. It's an amazing experience, especially for the celebrities, to dance in the Tower Ballroom. You still crack on because you're so excited about getting to that stage of the competition you know it's the quarterfinals next week so this is where it's getting really gritty so you, you are still fighting but maybe subconsciously there is that little bit of a okay we did it you know I think none of them sum this up as much to me as Leighton and Nikita who opened the show so let's talk about them because it was that it was their lowest score yeah and I just that was just a little bit of me, even though I thought it was a great dance. Just that heart just weren't that in it. I mean, we all know how fantastic Leighton is. Maybe to his detriment. And obviously he ended up in the bottom two. Now, why did he end up in the bottom two? Being probably the best answer in the show. The best answer Strictly has ever seen. I mean, last week when I predicted it, you kind of didn't believe it didn't see it coming yeah i i I, yeah. I was just like oh you're crazy what are you talking about i mean if he had been top of the leaderboard it still would have been very difficult for him to drop into the bottom two but because he didn't have a good dance and he was in a position where his popularity was going to be tested that's what i feared for him that he would drop into the bottom two because i feel that people aren't necessarily as much as they can see how amazing he is i don't necessarily think they're enjoying his performances as much as they should be because the expectation is so high firstly so because we know he's a professional dancer we expect something amazing every single week and he has been delivering he kind of puts a lot of the same stuff in each of the dance a high leg it's kind of got the same power inside his He's going for it 100%, even in an American smooth. Yeah. Where I want to see him just do a pure dance, whether it be the Foxtrot, the American smooth, which he just did, whether it be a jive, whether it be get rid of the gimmicks. We all know you can do the splits. We all know how amazing you are at doing backflips and things like that. Things that as professional dancers, we don't do. And the reason we can't do those things is because... We don't do it in Borum and Latin dancing. But the next few dances that he does, I think he needs to strip it there and do the pure Borum and Latin dancing and show us that you can do that because that's the part that he actually struggles with. And I think with a lot of his dances, if you really watch them and turn the music off, they all look quite similar, really. I know that sounds a bit harsh, but they all have kind of the same stuff in them. I I could obviously tell the difference between his dances. I am being a little bit harsh. Do you think there's a, a mentality to it that they, because they haven't gotten their, their 40 score yet, and I think that they should have way, they, they yeah, definitely should have gotten a 40 by now. Do you think it's 
that was anything to do with it. The fact that they keep putting in 110% and then just missing the edge and it just gets into your head a little bit. Um, no, I don't think so because I think Ellie and Vito should have had 40 as well. True, so, true. You know, and, and also I think maybe one time Nigel should have had a 40. I think maybe it's that he knows he's not getting the support. Now he has to understand he's not necessarily getting as much support as other people because he's so good. Please, please, Leighton and Nikita, do not take it personally. Don't think that it's an attack on you as individuals. It's because you're so good. And that's not his fault. Well, actually, I feel sorry for the guy because he seems like a really nice guy. And when they were standing in front of the judges, you know, knowing they're going into the dance off, he really did look deflated. He, you know, yeah. and when he's standing there, he now knows that people haven't picked up the phone and voted for him. And I actually felt really sorry for him. I wanted to give him a cuddle because I really looked at him and thought, he doesn't deserve that. No one wants him to feel awful just because I feel that his dances are maybe a little bit samey and things like that. It doesn't mean I don't like him and I'm trying to, I'm out to get him because I've said every single week, he's the best dancer Strictly's ever seen, but to his detriment. It's starting to look that way, isn't it, a little bit? People want to see a journey. People want to see you struggle. I actually think him going into the bottom two this week has done him a favour. I hope he watches this and, and can maybe get his head around the fact that it's not because people don't like him that they're not voting for him. It's because he's so good. Yeah. Hi, um, Leighton. And he's one bad week. Yeah, hi, Leighton. If we you love are you. Watching. We love you. Um, you know, as we have said, he's created dances which should have clearly been 40 40 40 you know i just say just keep going just keep doing what you're doing and enjoy strictly for what it is yeah so hopefully we won't um see them in the dance off but speaking of we completely forgot to talk about the the exit just told oh, the show yes. uh, so yeah let's let's get it in there now um for angela and carlos uh, it's hard it's i think it's hard when it gets to this point in the competition doesn't it they're all so good what i find really sad for them is that the last few weeks, they have been taking an upward level with their dancing. People have been getting behind them. I've been more invested in them as a couple. And they've done some amazing dances as well. At this stage of the competition, to get the cha-cha is a bit of a kick in the nuts. Because it's really difficult, especially for her. I knew it was going to be a tough dance for her when I heard she had the cha-cha. Because she has that stiffness that I've spoken about. I felt for her because... She went out there and she gave it 100%. You can't take that away from her. She just got unlucky at this stage. Was she ever going to get to the final? No, not in my opinion. You could see that she loved the whole experience, especially with Carlos. He seems like such a sweet guy. And I mean, his speech at the end, although very long, um, <laughs> it was a very long speech. Very, very, very long from the heart. I kind of felt from a viewer's perspective that it was like they regressed a few weeks so like and obviously that was because of the dance the nature of the dance it's just like she's just not as good as something like the cha-cha as she has been in previous weeks with the other dancers so but I, you know i'm so glad that they had the blackpool week because i think that dance was incredible and you know and then angela got those amazing comments from the judges which i think you know, I think they they critiqued her quite harshly over the over the course of the show. Glad that she had that to sort of take away because because yeah, she was a great competitor. So it just gets so hard at this point. I mean, they're all so good now. So. Well done, guys, and um, good goodbye. <laughs> Back to the competitors still on the show. Shall we talk a little bit about Nigel and Katia and uh, Rumba? What did you think? Tell me. You don't like the rumba anyway, do you? I don't like, I don't really like the rumba very much. But I just don't think it looks like the guy is doing a lot. Like, I don't think it really looked like, like Nate, Nigel did a, a whole bunch. And I also think that he may be, I feel like every time he dances, and I might just be projecting this, but I feel like he thinks that it's his, like, he's done. Like, this is his last week. And I feel like it's just this element of, like, he kind of wants to be, he wants to be done with it. That's just how I feel. I don't know whether it's true. I mean, you say that because something Ola said to me, which I thought was really interesting, was she said, you can see he's not 100% in it 
because she believes he's so nervous yeah. about going wrong. Yes. Because although he's dancing it and he's doing the moves and everything, you know, where he's doing all this stuff, but there's something missing, okay? And she, Ola believes it's because he's so nervous about making the mistake, which you can understand. Yeah. Because he's, he's done it so many weeks now where he's gone out, potentially had an amazing, amazing routine and messed it up because he's made a few little mistakes here at all, big mistakes sometimes. And I think it's something to do with, so I know that anxiety and it's horrible, but it's learning how to deal with it, even for someone like me that's had it my whole life. But yeah, I, I do feel for him, but I, I mean, it was a brilliant track. I wasn't a fan of this rumba. Now I love the rumba. It's one of my favorite dances. It wasn't the style I like because they didn't go raunchy, but I didn't feel they went subtle and beautiful either. I feel it was kind of in the middle. It was, for me, it felt a little bit disjointed. The choreography and the feel that they had, I didn't really see where it was going. I didn't feel it was that romantic. I, I didn't really get it. So for me, the the characterization wasn't as strong as perhaps it should have been. And that's why I didn't enjoy it. He was a little bit stiff in his hips, wasn't grounded enough. He is doing a fantastic job, but it wasn't for me this week. I would have given him an eight. So I still okay. loved it. I think it was great. Like sometimes I think if he didn't make mistakes, he would have potentially got tens. But I'm sitting there thinking, is he going to mess up? Is he going to mess up? Is he going to get it right? And you don't want to feel like that when you're watching someone because it makes you feel slightly uncomfortable. Let us know. What did you think? Maybe you guys thought it was better than we're saying. Maybe you agree. Maybe you didn't know why you didn't enjoy it. Let us know your thoughts. We might get a telling off, James. We've got some yeah. some Nigel stands out there for sure. <laughs> Next up, we had Annabelle and Johannes do uh, my favorite my favorite dance, a Paso. I have a, I have a theory. Has anyone ever been voted out on a Paso? I don't think so. I think what? it's a crowd pleaser. Not definitely not oh. this competition. You, you, you I get don't know. you get a Paso and then you're safe for a week. I think I I loved it. I didn't see them having that in the bag. I thought it was brilliant. It was brilliant. I loved it. The way she run at him in the beginning, jumped, yeah. her feet were off oh. the floor. I watched in slow okay. motion. Her feet were off the floor, straight into his arms. The drama, the music. I love the traditional Paso. They had traditional choreography. Johannes did an amazing job with the routine. They had traditional costumes. And it showed you how much people love the traditional Borum and Latin, something I bang on about every week. They got the biggest stand innovation of the night. The crowd yeah. went crazy for them. Now I'm going to be a little bit critical. The only thing that was missing for me personally was the drama, I'm going to say, the intensity. You know, if you watch her face, it looked a little bit blank at times for me. It looked a little bit reserved. And if it had that, it would have, it would have been a 10. Arguably the best performance of the night. I really enjoyed it. There was no way they were going to be in the bottom two. And I said last week, potentially, if they hadn't done such a good dance, I fear they could have. Not with that dance. I, I just thought it was brilliant. It was. It was fantastic. And I, I honestly think that they've had the most impressive journey so far because you, I, I really didn't think Annabelle would be getting to the quarterfinals, semifinals. But I think that's what we're looking at now. Before she did Couples Choice, they weren't really on my radar. But now, as you said, potential finalists, it's an outside chance. But after this week and watching the audience's reaction... People at home would have had that same feeling. And if they can create a couple more dances like that, they could get to the final. Now I'm going to be, this is strictly the truth. I don't believe, as much as I love them, I don't believe they have two more dances as good as that one. Right. Um, I know you don't like it, but we're going to have to talk about it. Couple's choice for Bobby and Diane. Yeah. <laughs> Did this convert you this week? or? You know what? I hate admitting when I'm wrong. Hey. Um, I would say this year, out of any other year, I have i don't ever remember liking as many of the couple's choices. I mean, the VT was 
beautiful. That BT would have resonated with so many people at home. Anyone that's lost someone, it made me sit there and think of my dad. And it was really emotional. So I was already invested before he started dancing. Then he started dancing and I thought it was bloody brilliant. For me, their best dance so far. Yeah. I never expected him to be able to go out there and dance like that. I mean, they did a very contemporary dance, but they cleverly, again, Diane mixed it with a lot of partnering, which is why I loved it so much. Um, and there was a story behind it. I, I loved it. Um, if, if, you know, two of the judges gave it 10s, I'm not saying it's wrong. I would have personally given it a nine. Craig gave it an eight. It was never an eight. It was so emotive. Some of the stuff he did in it, I thought was really, really high level. I loved it so much. And I think there is, it really saved them from being in the bottom two. There was absolutely no danger that that was going to happen again at all. If the VT was there and the dance wasn't good, I'd be saying the dance wasn't good. That dance could solidify a place for him in the final. Yeah. That dance. Because next week, people will remember that dance. And closing the show, we had Ellie and Vito doing an Argentine tango. So what did you think? Listen, they're my favourites. I said from week one that they're going to win. I still would love to see them win. I think they deserve to win more than anyone. They've come out. They've done a brilliant performance. I would have given them a nine. The judges gave them nine, ten, ten, nine. I personally definitely don't feel it was worth a ten. Again, there was that something missing, whether it be in the eyes, the intensity. It was almost like they were doing it, but they weren't in it for me. They weren't truly invested in it. And that's what was missing for me again. Her legs. Her legs yeah. are so amazing. Like her legs were beautiful. The control that she had, even when she was in the air holding certain positions, the lifts and kicks and things that she was doing, the extension, the shaping was beautiful. Sort of see what you mean. Like they were very close. They were, but I mean, I think sometimes you can really tell when the chemistry is like crackling. Do you know what I mean? And it just yeah, made you just... can be close. You could be close yeah. like this. I, I, just, I see close. what you mean. I see what you mean. But you can actually look like you want to eat him. Like him. Yeah. Like that, it's 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 in the eyes. It's that <laughs> you know, I look like a murderer when I do that. But um, uh, there wasn't that. Yeah, it just didn't quite grab me. Far from their best dance, probably middle towards the bottom, if anything. You know, and it was still brilliant. But that just shows what level they've been performing at. This is the thing. This is where the critique is at now. It's like they're so they treated us. They're so good that now we have to. Pick fault. I'm joining in. We have to pick fault on the tiny things. Yeah. All doing such a great job. Um, and like I said, some of them are so good. It's to their detriment sometimes. Um, but I'm loving it. I'm loving the show. I think it's getting closer and closer. There's people that I didn't expect, like Bobby, like Annabelle, that are in the mix now that I really, really didn't see me saying they could get to the final i really didn't think i'd be saying that well this will be a hard thing to zone then so let's talk about it who are in your bottom two next week i'm gonna say annabelle and johannes this week arguably my favorite dance but i don't know what dance she's got next week I just worry that she's kind of used up her ones that are going to suit her more than others. Um, so it really depends on what dance she has next week. I'm going to also say, I'm going to say Leighton and Nikita again. Wow, two. okay, right. It's it's so difficult. I don't think Ellie is going to end up in the bottom two. And I don't think Bobby is going to end up in the bottom two. It's a really, really hard one. Last week I called it, I think nearly every week I've called it. This week, oh, they're all so good now. And they've all got something special. I think it's going to be Nigel and Katya down there. And I think I think Annabelle and Johannes and Nigel and Katya for me. And I, I don't know. I, maybe it's just because Leighton and Akita are up there with my faves. But I do think Nigel should have been in the bottom two by now. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm going to see how he fared in the dance off as well, actually. Let us know, guys. Let us know. Let us know who you think will be in the bottom two. And 
Let's see if you're right. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm going to go Annabelle and Johannes. I loved it. I can't believe, I think this is the first time we've had someone in the danger zone who was also the MVP. Yeah. That's, that's never happened before. Yeah. This is, we you know, know we get, we know we, we're getting a tight competition. I think for me, it had to be Bobby and Diane. I thought it was, yeah, really beautiful, beautiful dance. And he was amazing. I love Bobby and Diane's to a, a lot. Actually, I might switch. No, you Can made I your decision. No, you made your decision. Can't take mine. Both of them were amazing. I, th I think that they were, for me, the best part of the show that week. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us for another week of Strictly The Truth. Please leave your comments below. We love hearing from you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and head over to hellomagazine.com for more news through the week about Strictly. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.